Hey, my scrappy friends. I am showing you the process that I did for layout number three for the January kit. So I'm a bit behind, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> but that's okay because I'm creating, right? So in the end, it doesn't really matter. But I did start this earlier in January. So I will preface that by saying I am adding some extra stuff to my kit, like that uh, dark navy blue paper from the midnight kit, I want to say, from Coco Vanilla. I add a couple of papers from that. Um, and I'm going to add some extra like chipboard and some other things from the crate paper snow day I don't know the crate paper collection the one that just came out <clears throat> I'm also going to be using that sketch that you've seen at the beginning from citrus twist so I'm working on that little top part I'm gonna sew this on I do not use any glue I try to use a minimal glue in my sewing machine because I do have a cheaper sewing machine and as much as I can I don't really want to mess it up so I'm layering just those few. There's like, there's quite a bit of sewing and I had a hard time with this layout, <laughs> which is why it took me so long. I think I worked on this three different times. So, um, I mean, in the end, it really did not take me that long to get it done. It's just, I did a lot of like, hmm, do I really want to do this? How do I want to do this? Coming back. But I did do this first initial part at a different time. So I want to add some of these foil flakes. So I'm trying not to get really messy. So I'm going to use my ATG gun. Uh, one of the cool things about this foil is if you put it on glue, you can kind of rub it off the edges. So um, it will stick on the glue from the ATG. I will say it's kind of... I mean, any way you use these flakes, they're messy. Because <laughs> you, you need it the liquid of the glue to dry before you really can wipe off any other pieces. So this works really well with like a Mod Podge or some other kind of mixed media as well. But this is one way to show you how you can uh, get them to stay on. I mean, yeah, so they're going to stay on where the glue is. Um, and I don't need it to be perfect. So it, it's going to work and I'm going to later on finish with some more just down that row. So I just go up and down <laughs> in that area where I want these flakes to go. It's not super precise. It kind of looks like they're falling if, you know, copper foil flakes were to fall like snow. So this is a photo that I took not too long ago. I will say it didn't print as nice as I wanted it to because um, there was a little bit of purple in the sky. But even when I tried to in edit, you know, it in my photo editor, sometimes I can try to get those that color from whatever reason when you take the picture. It doesn't show up as much as what your eye can see because it just it just can't. Our eyes are better than, you know, cameras. So <laughs> I tried to do that, but it still didn't work. But that's okay because it still looks pretty and it's snow. And we don't get snow here in Washington very often. So I wanted to document this and just make a fun little layout. It definitely was cold and we definitely got a, f a few inches. So it was fun, you know, enough to have like a little snow day for the kids and uh, so this is where I sewed that second piece on. I really wish I didn't sew this on. This is the one mistake that I made <laughs> when I did this. I just, I really just don't care for how uh, that placing of it, it made it really hard to finish off the rest of my layering, which you know is a thing. So I add this doily here and it's going to move because I realize I don't like it there when I start working on it a little bit more. So I'm working on some more layers. I add that, um, the paper with the snowflakes on it. I'm trying to think if that snowman paper was actually in the my kit at all for the January. So I did add stuff. And 
this is the thing that I will say when when I make my kits, I try not to go too hard on myself about adding extra stuff. Like, you know, like how here I added stuff from the Midnight Collection because I really thought those colors would look look really well with the photo because it's dark and blue and all that stuff. It's like in the end, it's about using stuff that you have in your stash or using stuff that you have so that it gets used up. So yeah. So as you can see here, once again, I'm like, I'm just not sure. You can't even see all of that whole layout. And this is where I decide, no, I don't like that there. I, I just didn't know what else to do. I'm trying not to cover up the scallops because scallops I kind of like them. I'm just not sure. So I'm going to tuck this in here. I'm trying not to, as much as possible, mess with the foil flay. <laughs> See, this is where I'm like, I really just don't like that I sewed that paper down. And unlike ATG glue, where sometimes you can get it to come up, <laughs> it just, it's not going to come up. But that's okay. Because I add that doily underneath. I sewed that down with that little piece above there. I thought about doing that and I kind of like the way that that looks from overhead, but I just was so not sure about this. And I hate, this is the part about, I'm going to get real here. We're getting real. Um, if you're not in your room a lot, like I am not in my room that often now, usually on the weekends is when I get a chance to come in and get creative. So because I'm not spending all my week with the layout out on my desk looking at it because my room is not somewhere where I just walk past all the time. I'm not always thinking about this, right? So I, when I come back to it, it's like a whole new day, a whole new thought process. And yeah, but I work it out. I add another piece of that um, arrowy triangle paper above my little thing. And I like how this is working. I add some of the, um, I want to say that's from the Midnight Collection, but I start just building more layers and I really like how this turns out. I actually really like how this layout turned out. It just was one of those layouts. I was ready to throw it. Like I was ready to just put it somewhere and just not finish it. And I have layouts like that. <clears throat> and I think this is where, like I said, getting real, like if you're not always in your room and you don't think about it, you can have a not, not a really good vision for where you want it to go. And so it just gets really frustrating. So like sometimes you just have to be easy on yourself, put it away, then come back to it later. And that's what I did. I put it away for a couple of weeks and I was like, okay. And now as I'm working on it, I like it. I'm adding more layers, you know just being easy on myself, <laughs> you know, and, and it works And it. Like I said, I really like how this turned out. Um, you know, it's with the white and I'm glad I added that doily that I had sprayed Navy stuff on spray on. So I'm going to add some of these cause they have copper on it too. It's just going to add a whole different, uh, copper color. Um, I did have to move the one, I think at the end and I add these one canoe, one canoe, two uh, cross pluses, whatever. I like pluses. They're fun. Um, and the colors worked really well. So it just kind of started bringing everything together, which is really what, just what I needed. I just needed a, to do a couple of things. So even though I was going off of this sketch, I did deviate from the sketch, which is fine because the sketch isn't supposed to be like some concrete, like, oh, I have to like, have to do that. But sometimes when I'm not scrapbooking often, I like to have a sketch so that I have an idea of where I'm going. So I'm just not like trying to take all night figuring out what I actually want to do on the page. But in this case, it just wasn't as helpful. But in the end, it ended up being helpful when I just listen, just let go of whatever I thought I needed to do. And it just, it really did free it up 
but it just took putting it away for a couple of weeks and then coming back to it and being like, okay, I can do this. I can finish this. So, and then I did some fun things. I put that puffy stick around there. I'm going to grab one of the little clips. Um, so there's clips with these plastic rubber charms on them. Um, and so I'm going to add that on there and that was really fun. It, and now I'm going to use, now I'm going to get even more messy and I'm going to use liquid glue this time. Uh, and so I just put the glue on there and then I'm trying to do this. Don't do, I, I will admit that this was like the worst idea, um, uh, because mono multi, like the green liquid glue it just is so sticky and I ended up with glue stuck to my hand like all night and it's gross but you know in the end it worked and it's stuck now <laughs> but you know it wasn't really as easy as just using the ATG I should have just did that but I was afraid that like it was gonna look too straight because with the ATG you just get that line from where the ATG you know because it's just a certain thickness so it looks more straight and this you can create kind of more of a round and it's not all gonna look the same so that was my thought process when I started it it just didn't work out so here's that clip I really like how this it looked with that on there and I made sure that I put the you're gonna see me play around with the the dimensional adhesive I'm gonna put it around that so that and I put glue on the clip itself so that eventually when it dries, it dries right to the page so that there's less chance that that will move in because I didn't actually adhere it other than just with the dimensional and the glue. Like, I, this is leaning on there. It worked, <laughs> but I didn't want it to move anywhere. So I am almost done with this. Definitely, guys, make sure you look in the info box Below, you can see all the links for the ladies who did their layout three because I'm way behind. Um, and be on the lookout because I have a share video for my February kit in which I still need to make layouts with, but I have it all together. So be on the lookout for that. And um, thank you guys for watching this. Um, and just know, homemade kits are really fun and they're just... A great way to use your stash and to have a direction and which to go and I am really pleased I've been able to get quite a few layouts I think I got four layouts with this January kit so I'll probably put it away and then just use my other kit usually that's what I do I don't worry about if I have stuff left over because I make my kits super big but I will see you guys later have a great week bye